Hi, I'm Doug McKinley, and you're watching Adorama TV. Now, for today's episode, we're gonna look at temperature. Now, this is something we experience on a daily basis, going to and from work, to and from school, or at home, but we don't often think about it unless it's in extreme conditions in a visual way. And that's something we're gonna try and address today. When I think about temperature, I usually think about it in two different ways. Obvious, which is the stuff that's around us on a daily basis, and conceptual. And this usually falls into the, the realm of advertising, mostly in magazines. Now, some advertisers really got a good handle on this kind of imagery. Oftentimes, the composition is quite simple, and it seems like they're beating us over the head with it. But it works. If it didn't work, they wouldn't use it. However, I do think that they fall prey to the, the problem of mediocrity, because these images are used so much, it's very difficult for, for advertisers to come up with new ideas. So it's one of the reasons why they're always on the lookout for photographers who can think outside the box. Now, mediocrity aside, it doesn't mean as photographers you can't or shouldn't learn these techniques. You never know when they're gonna come in handy. Now, getting started is a simple thing. Just look around your house for any found items. Coffee cups, old mittens, condensation on windows, steamed up glasses, boiling kettles, all this stuff really works well. And it doesn't hurt to have a willing victim or two. Now, when it comes to the technical side of getting these images, the best tool available to you is the time to take your time. You really need to think about what you're trying to achieve with these pictures, preconceive the image. In terms of the camera equipment, I'd probably stick with narrow depths of field, 1.4 up to about 5.6 or f8 even. Lenses, I'd go with the primes, maybe 35, or a 50 or a short zoom, a 24 to 70 millimeter. And of course, use your tripod, keep it all still. What you're trying to convey is the essence of temperature, whether it's hot or cold or in between. Always keep that at the forefront of your mind and try to stay on topic. The second part to our temperature photographs are the obvious ones, the ones we see on a daily basis all around us. But because we're trying to just take a small slice out of a big picture and all that noise around it, it's not as obvious as you think perhaps. And maybe it's not quite as simple. Sure, we have the really obvious pictures, snowy scenes, desert scenes, setting sun scenes. Now these are fantastic and they do give you that sense of temperature. But also be aware of the more subtle ones in different seasons, perhaps in springtime with the nice bluebell colors, nice subtle blues in the bluebells, or autumn with that great palette of autumn colors. It could even be just the way people dress. They all convey a great sense of temperature. One of the best places to uh, stoke your, your imagination for uh, temperature pictures is to troll through some magazines. Now they're often chock full of these advertising pictures that use some sense of temperature to get their message across. Like all photography, research here is really important. So there you have it, temperature pictures in a nutshell. Now it's up to you to go find these great subjects and make some fantastic pictures. Thanks for joining us, I'm Doug McKinley for Adorama TV. Don't forget you can also subscribe to Adorama TV for more great videos. And tell us what you think, you can like, comment, or share this video, and do stop by the Adorama Learning Center for more great tips and tricks.